In today's topic, we are going to look at a regular polygon and irregular polygon. And our learning objective is to calculate the, the exterior angles and the interior angles of a regular polygon and to work out the size of, inter of interior angles and exterior angles of an irregular polygon. And this are uh, our key word we have. And before we can embark on this, uh, students should know how to calculate the the angles on a straight line and angles at the point we have done this before and students should also note that know that the sum of the interior angle of the triangle is 180 okay now let's look at this regular polygon say that a polygon is regular if all its interior angles are equal and all its uh, side are uh, the same length. Look at it. this length. They are the same. This length. They are the same. This length also. They are the same. That means that this angle here are all the same. This angle here are all the same. So the uh, shape of this form is what we call a regular polygon. Now look at this. You can see that the angle here is not equal to the angle here. And it's not equal to the angle here. And also the sizes are not equal. So these are what we call the irregular polygon now the sum of interior angles for us to calculate the sum of interior angles we know that the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree it's 180 degree okay now this is angle here is equal to angle here equal to angle here that is an equilateral triangle so the side we have three sides and uh, one angle. So three sides and one angle. That is three minus two is one. Okay. Now look at this. We have how many sides? One, two, three, four sides. And if you divide it into two, here is one angle, which is 180. Here is another angle, which is 180. You see that? So uh, a square, which is uh, a, a quadrature, has four sides it has four sides and how many angles it has two angles so let's be checking four minus two is equal to two now this is a pentagon pentagon have many sides one two three four five it has five sides okay and how many angle this is one angle this is another angle and this is another angle Okay, so it has three angles. Now the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon should be three times one eighty. So if you check three times one eighty, we have that to be five forty. Okay. Now for a quadrature, if you check two times one eighty, because it has two angles, two times one eighty, that gives us three six. That's how we have that. The interior angle of a quadrature is 360. Now let's look at this pentagon. Pentagon has how many sides? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It has 6 sides. So since it has 6 sides, how many angles do you have? 6 minus 2 should be 4. You know, so 4 angles. Now look at we have here to be 1 angle. We have there to be another angle that is 2. And here is another angle that is 3. And here is another angle that is 4. So for us to find the interior angles, sum of interior angles of this hexagon, we have that to be 4 multiplied by 180. So if we multiply 4 by 180, we have what? 4 multiplied by 180 gives us uh, 720, I think. Huh? Okay, that's fine. That gives us 720. So here yeah, is equal to 720. And this hexagon has how many sides? It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sides. Hexagon have 7 sides. So since you have 7 sides, how many angles will it have? It has 7 minus 2. That means 5. It has 5 angles. Let's check. From here to here is one angle. Here also is another angle. Here also is another angle. Here also is another angle. 
So we have one angle, two angle, three, four, and five. So for us to find the interior angles of a heptagon, we say five multiply by one eight because seven minus two is five. So five multiply by one eighty will give us what? Five multiply by one eighty that gives us what? Nine hundred. So that gives us nine hundred. So the interior angle of a heptagon is nine hundred. Now look at when you have a thirteen ang thirteen side, will you still be drawing an angle? It's not easy. So now they said, what is the sum of the interior angles of a thirteen-sided polygon? Now you look at what we did here. Here has four side. Four minus two is two. Here has five side. Five minus two is three. Here has six side. Six minus six is four. So here that has thirteen side, it will be thirteen minus two whatever we have that we multiply by 180 degree so this will give us the interior angle the sum of the interior angle so 13 minus eight, minus 2 is 11 now 11 times uh, 180 if we multiply 11 11 times 180 gives us what 1009 80 so that gives us a uh, 1980 degree so this gives us the sum of the interior angle that means for us to find the sum of the interior angle of any side we have that n is the side minus 2 n is the side minus 2 whatever we have it we multiply by 180 this will give you the sum of the interior angles okay now let's look at this question we talk about the exterior angles now in this exterior angle if we have a triangle all these places are the interior angle you see that and here also is the exterior angle the angle outside is the exterior angle since here is 180 degree i'm going in straight line that means that 180 minus the interior angle will give us the exterior angle you see that so that means that the interior angle plus the exterior angle is equal to 180. So you know that the interior angle plus the exterior angles is equal to 180 degrees. That is sub supplementary angle, angle on a straight line. Now look at this also. Here is the interior angles. All this space is the interior angle. So this side is the exterior angle. So for us to find the exterior angle here, yeah? We said 180 minus the interior angle because it's an angle on a straight line. So same thing happens here. Okay. Now, uh, for this place, these are what I want students to note that if you know these three things, you can solve most most any problem involving polygon angles. Okay. Now, if you know the in the exterior angles. The exterior angle sum up to 180. You have to know that the exterior angle of any polygon is equal to 180, not or 360. Sorry, note that the exterior angle of any poly, any polygon is 360, and the, the interior the, the interior angles are made up of two less triangle than side. You see that two less triangle than side. That's the side n minus two. So if the side is five that means the triangle will be five minus two that means we have three triangle if the side is seven if the side is seven that means the triangle there will be seven minus two which is that means we have five triangle okay so you know that sum of interior angles is equal to n minus two know this formula n minus two times 180 and then the the exterior angle with n side this number of side gives us 360 divided by what by n and also note that the interior angle plus the exterior, exterior angle is equal to 180 so you must know these three things this three formula okay now let's look at some question now this question says that the if the interior angle of a regular polygon is this work out the following question what is the side this the size of the interior angle the size of the interior angle 
we know that the interior angle plus the exterior angle is equal to 180. So if the interior angle is 135, we are looking for the exterior angle. You see not? So know our normal calculation that the exterior angle will give us 180 minus 135. Is it not? So the exterior angle gives us 180 180 minus 135 that gives us what 45 so the exterior angle is what 45 degree so this is the answer of number i then i i said how many side does it have the number of side it has you know that the exterior angle exterior angle simply gives us 360 minus n where n is the number of side so if we cross multiply we have that n gives us 360 divided by the exterior angle and what is the exterior angle the exterior angle is 45 so we have that to be 360 divided by 45 hmm? 360 divided by 45 so what do you have check we have 360 divided by 45 and that gives us what 8 that means that the side n is what 8 the 8 side it has 8 uh, side okay now the next thing we calculate is what is the sum of its interior angle that's very fine for us to find the sum of interior angle the sum of interior angle we know is n minus 2 times 180. This is the sum of interior angle. So n is the number of angle, the number of side, which is what? 8. The number of side is 8 minus 2. Whatever you have, you times it by 180. So 8 minus 2 is uh, 6. So 6 multiplied by 180 gives us what? Check. 6. 6 multiplied by 180 is what? That gives us 1080. So we have that to be 1080. So 1080 is the sum of the uh, interior angles. Okay, let's quickly look at this. Now in this case, they say that if an exterior angle of a regular polygon is this, what are the following? We said, uh, what is the side? What is the size of the interior angle? Fine and good. The interior angle plus exterior angle is 180. So the interior angle gives us 180 minus the exterior angle. So the interior angle gives us 180 minus the exterior angle they have is uh, 24. So check 180 minus 24. That gives us what? That gives us a 156. So the interior angle is 156 degree. So this gives us the interior angle. So next it says, how many side does it have? Now the number of side we have is the number of side of, well, let me say we start from that the exterior angle gives us 360 divided by n, where n is number of side. If I cross multiply, I have that n gives us 360 divided by the exterior angle. And the exterior angles gives us what? 360 divided by what the exterior angle? 24. So the number of side gives us 360 divided by 24. 360 divided by 24. That gives us what? 15. So the, the side is what? 15 it has 15 side okay now nice one says what is the sum of the interior angle the sum of the interior angle is n minus 2 multiplied by 180 that means 15 minus 2 is 13 multiplied by 180 so whatever it gives you is what the sum of the gives us the sum of the interior angle so this is how we solve this problem